let's look at understanding where error comes from in our predictions and how to find something called the residual. Whenever you have a scatter plot, you have a bunch of points and hopefully they form some kind of general trend, some kind of linear trend that you can work with. If you clear this out, if you draw a line of best fit, you're going to find that that line of best fit usually does not fit every single point perfectly. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to figure out how well it actually, in fact, does fit any particular point. We're going to calculate something called the residual. The residual is how much error we made for any given point. So here we can uh, get an actual definition. The error in the best fits lines prediction of y. How much error we had when we predicted y. I'll go back to this real quick and I'm going to draw in just one of these at a time so we can see this a little more clearly. Here was our actual value, our actual data point. For that same value of x, if you were to draw a vertical line for that same value of x, we had a prediction that it was going to be right here. Our prediction falls somewhere on the line of best fit. Yet the actual value was higher. So looking at that definition again, let's go back, it says the error in the best fit lines prediction of y, the actual minus the predicted. So we take our actual value here minus the predicted and we're going to get this distance here some positive number, this distance here, that's going to be the error, uh, which we call the residual. Looking at this graph down here, you can see that all of these points have some amount of error. This one has a very small amount, small amount. Some of them, like this one here, has a very large amount of error. Very large amount of error. They all have some amount of error, unless they happen to fall uh, coincidentally right on the line perfectly but you're usually going to have some amount of residual on any given point. You can calculate this numerically by figuring out the actual value from your table of data and the predicted value by using your uh, uh, best fit line equation. So to find the residual for the 3100 pound car we're going to first of all identify where is that in our table okay right here so we'll end up needing that in a moment first thing we're going to pull away is the actual value when x equals 3100 we uh, look at our table here the actual mpg when x is 3100 is 26 y equals 26 we said we need to find actual minus the predicted so now we need to find the predicted value when x is equal to 3100 for that we need our best fit line and if you remember that from earlier y is equal to negative point zero zero three five four we're going to pop in x equals thirty one hundred in uh... here and then we're going to add in our y intercept so we have our slope our y intercept and we're plugging in thirty one hundred for x if you do all of that uh, this is our best fit line right here. You do all of that, you're going to get 26.326. To solve for the residual, you take your actual value and you subtract your predicted. So you take 26, 26, and you subtract this 26.326, and that's going to give you a negative number, negative 0.326. That is our residual. And to make sure we have the idea, let's practice one more. Let's say you want to find the residual for the 3900 pound car. To do that, let's identify that in the table and then work our way through. We start with the actual value for the 3900 pound car and that is 24 mpg. Then we find the predicted value for a 3900 pound car. We do that by plugging it into our uh, linear regression line. So y is going to be equal to our slope, negative 
we plug in x of 3900 because that's what we're trying to predict and then we add in our y-intercept 37.3 when we do that we crank through the numbers and we end up getting 23.494 so that is our predicted value so we have 24 as our actual our predicted is 23.494 the residual then in this case is the actual minus the predicted 24 minus 23.494 uh, which is going to give us a positive residual uh, of 0 0.506 positive residual means that our actual data value is above so actual data value would be up here above uh, whereas a negative residual like we have here means that our actual data point would be below as in this uh, these two down here and that's residuals